Hey, I'm Pat. Welcome to Daily Devo. Today, we're going to talk about this unshakable kingdom. I love reading adventure books and survival stories. One I read months ago was the true story of a father and son in the early part of the 20th century that had taken an expedition into the Amazon in an attempt to find what they called the lost city of Z. They mysteriously disappeared and were never heard of again. However, evidence was eventually discovered that verified that this lost city had once existed. In fact, it has become apparent that in the 1500s, a complex civilization had flourished along the Amazon. It is estimated that millions may have once lived in these dense coastal settlements involving massive structures and canals and bridges. Today, the jungle has almost completely overtaken the remains of this once vibrant kingdom. Nineveh, a, a city you may recall learning about in history class or reading about in the Bible, is another example of what happens to many great cities and kingdoms. For years, it was one of the greatest cities in the world and part of one of the most powerful kingdoms in the world. Eventually, it became nothing more than a mound of dirt, which archaeologists would discover and begin unearthing indications of a past kingdom. The lost city of Z and the Amazon and the once great city of Nineveh are just two examples of hundreds and hundreds that I could give of vibrant, powerful kingdoms that once thrived but eventually became nothing more than mounds of dirt or were overtaken by jungle plants. With history full of crumbled kingdoms, this little verse in Hebrews 12 should bring us such joy, hope, and more reason to thank God. Hebrews 12:28 reads, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, an unshakable kingdom, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. History and archaeology have clearly displayed that every earth-made empire will eventually topple. Every man-made structure will rot, decay, or fall. Buildings eventually crumble. Countries rise and fall. Nothing in this world is permanent. It will one day come to an end. However, as followers of Jesus, our God has promised us a kingdom that is unshakable, meaning it will not rust, spoil, or fade. It will never end. It will never be overthrown. No ruler or natural disaster can destroy it. If you've put your faith in Jesus, that is the kingdom you and I are part of and will one day see in all its glory. That, my friend, is reason to be thankful. It's exactly what the writer of Hebrews says. Let, let me read that verse again. Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Kingdoms come and go. Well, except for one. There is one unshakable kingdom that will never, ever go away. Aren't you glad that you're part of that? Be thankful.